Thanks for tuning. So today we are discussing about the Security Newbie Toolkit that I'm creating and this video will be about GRC Specialist. So this playlist on YouTube is dedicated to new joiner into the security world and I want to help to understand how the security industry works and which kind of career path you can have. You have on my YouTube channel uh, the playlist. So far I did a, an overall uh, overview and another one uh, more specific uh, uh, to the specialization. So in this one we are talking about GRC in terms of governance, risk and compliance. So if you decide that that is your career path you should have an understanding of how you can look at that. So first suggestion is try to understand the infrastructure in terms of doing an AWS Cloud Security Practitioner, having an overview with a fundamental at CSA, that is Cloud Security Alliance. All material for training is for free just to have uh, a draft it's not for the certification but it's ne never bad anyway if you want to take an AWS uh, uh, certification a CSA certification they are also quite cheap compared to other uh, big player uh, you can refer uh, to Cybrary the website that I was speaking about the last time as well but for GRC specific, when, when you have an understanding of how an infrastructure works, uh, you can have a look into something like FAIR Institute. It does have a lot of material. You can understand better how does it work, uh, a framework. I obviously suggest to look into the NIST risk management framework, or also call it the RMF. And, uh, Specifically, I suggest this website because when you are talking about ISO, it is really difficult to, to have an understanding of how it's structured. The vision is well done and uh, is giving you a full understanding of all uh, ISO uh, cybersecurity kind of uh, um, sub, su sub chapter. So is important ISO 27 uh, uh, is the foundation you'll have for sure to build on top of that uh, in terms of uh, create uh, understanding uh, how you evaluate the risk uh, how is the risk management uh, more similar to the fair that I say I do suggest this website uh, if you are interested in uh, uh, I'm not affiliated, I'm not taking any money, so all my suggestions are just based uh, on, on where to find more stuff. Uh, I'm not really into data privacy, I'm not the best one to suggest you stuff about data privacy, because I always kept myself, obviously I'm involved in that, in terms of uh, uh, architecture, because it's a big pillar, but it's not the key point of my uh, career. This one is a website that I found useful back in the days. But as I told you, uh, have a look into all training materials that you find there, uh, refer uh, to the risk framework, and uh, consider the GRC governance, and so the risk framework part, uh, uh, policy as well, policy, manager policy um, framework is extremely complicated and so you need to have some reference into that space and so it's not that you sit down and you write whatever policy you fancy. You need to have a structure, you need to be based also on the operation of the company itself. So my suggestion is take some time on Cybrary, you have some courses about it and try to, to understand how a policy is written a company policy is written. When you go on the risk, uh, uh, the main distinguish is if you are doing a, a qualitative risk analysis of a quantitative. And if you go down the quantitative, you could find yourself uh, to 
easily cross uh, also the data science part in terms of how you calculate uh, the risk uh, uh, but generally speaking company are using already framework uh, and software uh, for that but have an understanding of how it's working under the bonnet is a quite a good suggestion i think so it's it's an entire world on its own and it does have a, a big portion of the auditing when you go in compliance compliance can be a pci compliance <laughs> hipp hipaa that is the one for the health record you you do have a, a plethora of uh, compliances so try to understand which framework is relevant to you and uh, see what makes sense for you my suggestion is at the time that uh, uh, you cross the line of the auditing you can find yourself uh, really strictly binded also to technology so try to have an overview of how an infrastructure works security practitioner uh, and whatever i told you uh, you can find a lot of stuff on infrastructure also on my channel and uh, trying to move uh, in the direction that you are thinking your uh, your career will move you if you go heavily on gdpr on another topic try to find more relevant uh, reference in the market my suggestion I always look for a lawyer when you talk about data privacy I do trust more somebody that grew up and is having that frame uh, in thinking in talking on discussing that is my opinion obviously you don't have to be a lawyer to be a data privacy expert there is a tons of stuff outside pay attention to the quality or, or of what you look uh, at uh, generally you can disconnect too much from the legal framework in any case and so if you want to trust somebody you don't have any element to do try to see their studies if they have for example uh, a, a legal uh, technological uh, background could help for sure you can trust more the sources when you're going auditing uh, you could have something that is strictly specific to uh, to auditing for cloud for example and this one is a, a new uh, a new certificate that is coming out and uh, you don't find many others for sure when you talk about uh, auditing uh, you you get straight into the specific topic for example pci auditor or, or or everything but you need the knowledge to apply that so it's never wasted time if you go down that path and so have a look as i said are quite cheap uh, uh, and the material is free so it's it's a good deal um uh, it's uh, i need to correct myself it's free the material for cccsk is not for cccak cccak was developed with isaka and you'll uh, you'll uh, bang your head into isaka more than once about uh, uh, grc rules and so we have the crisc certification the CISA that is the auditing and uh, the SISM that is a security manager remember that uh, when you get those kind of certification like the IC square on CISP you need to maintain those and so you'll have a cost to maintain uh, year by year those certification so if you are short in cash at the beginning of your career trying to see if it really makes sense something like that or something more specialistic uh, like uh, an ISO 271 or a PCI auditor kind of uh, uh, pattern a pain for sure is for example each version of a PCI change uh, you need to maintain uh, your status of auditor so 
look and investigate what is the career path that you want to take but uh, generally speaking GRC is this one as a word so Isaka uh, material you'll find it uh, a lot Krisk is specific to risk framework and so have a look to the syllabus can give you a reference on, on how to read and study stuff and uh, if I can help on something let me know I'm really careful on this space because it's not uh, uh, data privacy and all other is not my strength but obviously I work a lot on, on risk as well and I have experience on that so I thought uh, was right and fair to talk especially for the cloud auditing part because uh, if you check uh, other videos they will never talk or refer to this new kind of material okay take it easy if you need it anytime drop me a message and I will reply take care cheers